Hello, my name is Brandon and I am your host for the series of tutorials for Disco DSP Synth Corona. And in this video, we're going to be going over what is in the new releases from release 2 all the way to release 2.2. There's been some really cool stuff added and that's exactly what we're going to be going over. So I'm going to read through the list that is provided in the manual PDF for Corona when you download Corona. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to open up Corona and then check out what this stuff does. So let's start with release 2. Two. Sound Font 2, or SF2, is now supported by Wave Oscillators. Support for folders with DWB extension for custom oscillator Wave and SF2 loads. Another thing added is the Super 7 Unison, which is a modeled super saw for parabola, saw, square, and sine oscillators. Additional ADR curves on the modulation envelope. LFO smoothing. Phase parameter is now working with Wave Oscillators. Modulation Matrix Unison Detune Destination, Factory and Creation Bank Presets Sorted by Type, and GUI Enhancements, Subpixel Rendered Fonts, New Logos, and Module Reallocation. In Release 2.1, we have a Fixed Modulation Matrix Filter Envelope Modulation Destination Range. Free Wave Extension for Registered Customers at Members Area. So go to the same place that you downloaded Corona, and it will be right underneath it. In release 2.2, there are two new oscillator combination modes, modular addition and bitwise rotation. Also, two new filter shapes, quantize and asymmetric quantize. So let's open up Corona. Now the first thing I'm going to do is explain to you some of the new GUI enhancements and the new logos and how some of the modules have moved around. We're going to notice that the unison is now right by the oscillator section when it used to be at the very end over here. This doesn't really change anything except for the fact that all the envelopes are now on the very right side and the LFOs are through the middle. Now in the filter envelope, something that's been changed is the modulation knob has been moved to the far left when it used to be on the far right. Now this doesn't change anything except for just like before, all of the releases, sustains, decays, and attacks are all straight up and down from each other. Now when we look at the LFO, we're going to see an entirely new knob, which is the smooth knob. And this is going to be one of the big things that I'm going to be demonstrating. What it does is it smooths the waveform for the LFO, which is really nice and I'm going to come back to that later. A new change is that the phase parameter is now working with wave oscillators. When we come over to the unison and we take this drop down box, we're going to notice something new, which is the Super 7. So I'm going to leave the sound that I have on right now and play it. You can hit the Super 7. And the only thing that you can now adjust is the snob. Also, now when we come to the modulation matrix, we can set the destination for the unison, which is something that you couldn't do before, and this adds a whole new way to add some creativity into your sound. So I've covered some of the big changes, and I haven't shown you the smooth yet, so why don't I just go ahead and show you the smooth. I've set up the sound specifically for the smooth that, demonstrated, that I felt demonstrated it the best in a way that you'll be able to hear exactly what the smooth does. What I've done is assigned the destination as the cutoff down in the modulation matrix and the filter LFO to be the source. Right now I have the smooth set at zero and my waveform is a triangle. Now when you look at a triangle waveform, there's some hard edges. And what the smooth does is when it hits those hard edges, it kind of rounds it off. So the LFO isn't as harsh at those points in the wave. So I'm gonna play and let you hear what it sounds like before. <laughs> I'm going to adjust the smooth up as I do it. You can see that it takes the harsh edges out. Let me do it again with just holding one note down. So when you find your LFO is just a little harsh, try adjusting the smooth. So in a nutshell, that is release 2 through 2.2 for Corona. 